Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. Dan, the other day, we had a conversation, didn't we? Yep. And I was like, how can we get two paintballs to collide mid-air and film it in slow motion? My first thought was, we're just going to stand opposite each other and just let rip and then hopefully... Would never happen. It the would accuracy, <laughs> the timing, it would never happen. The pain, the pain as well. The fear. You'd be scared like this. Well, I've, just, to... I've had bad luck with paintballs. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that looks like a shot to the mouth. <laughs> Gavin, you look like a mess. You <laughs> bloody dead eye rising and it blew my face off. It looks like you have a second mouth. It's not pleasant. It's not nice. So instead I've made this contraption with uh, vice grips and string. Yeah, I mean, it is a complex thing for us. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of internet videos, it's very basic. Isn't I mean, it? there could be like an electronic button to just do it. But yeah. instead I've just bought two guns and sort of tried to rig them up so they're shooting at each other. Okay, so we'll see if we can collide two paintballs Somewhere around here. I'm going to have to preset the focus and the framing, but you know, probably around, around there, isn't it? We'll film it at 28,500 frames a second on the V2511. And if we're feeling a little bit cheeky, we'll mm. boost that frame rate up. Juicy. Let's see what we can get. Juicy. Yeah. Juicy. So somewhere around here, yeah? Yeah, just, mm. just like, all right. So you're just eyeing it. <laughs> I mean, it's so minuscule that I'm going to try and eye it, yeah. It's just kind of difficult because sometimes when you clamp it back up, it just goes back where it wants. A little bit of give. Yeah, it's a bit of give in the plastic of the gun. If we had a, if we had like a cylindrical rod, we could just shove it down both barrels. It's true. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we were more prepared, it'd be, it'd be easier. So let's see how that does. You ready? Yeah. No. 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 Yep. That was it? Yep. Oh. What's up? I think they just bonked. Did they hit? Yeah, they did. I think they just glanced at each other slightly. What are the chances of that? Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Yep. I think that hit. Oh. Did the green one just annihilate it? <laughs> the green one survived. <laughs> How's that happen? Well, what? It's, the... it's different every time we do it. It's just like when uh, when you get hit in paintball and it doesn't explode. Is there like tape or something on that paintball? No, it's like half of it's got the branding pattern, I think, on it. A little bit of the pattern sort of swung off and spun away. Look. Oh, yeah. Frisbeed it into the distance. Okay, my first adjustment was too much yeah. and it meant that they just dinked. So I've, I readjusted that time and only one of them exploded and they weren't quite bang on. So this time I've adjusted again just a little bit and just hopefully We'll get that exact meaty. A little eek. Yeah. A little naps. Little eek and naps. Knee, <laughs> naps. A nap kneecap. Yeah, there that's the saying, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. That was it. I think so. I actually saw the exact second that they, they hit each other. <laughs> you, know when you, you know when you close your eyes and you're like freeze frame with a yeah, blink? Yeah. I captured that perfectly. I went like boop and it, I just saw it explode. Can you uh, send that to me? Yeah, yeah, hang on. Send, send the JPEG. All right. Okay. I've got airdrop turned on. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Man, this camera's loud. All right, playing back. Here we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> Nailed it. Perfect. That's amazing. So it looks like they hit on the back, like one's on the front, one's on the back. Yeah, just slightly. Look at it open up like a like a fruit. <laughs> it's like a, a fasalis or a kumquat or something. Yeah. It, here it's like juicy and then it turns into like a spider web. It, it almost looks like a, a nervous system there, like exactly. a load of neurons. Yeah. Or like a <coughs> capillaries or something. Yeah. I wonder how much that actually happens in like real paintball matches. It must happen quite a bit. Yeah. Is that square on enough or do you want any more adjustments? That's pretty good. So satisfying getting it first time. Yeah. I thought these were made of rubber, but they're actually made of like plastic. It's quite thick. You can see the difference in the in the paintballs. This one's split along the actual. Is that like the seal hole? Yeah, the two different kinds of plastic that seal the paint in. And this one is just sort of burst all over the place. I think these are the more expensive ones, and these are like the cheapo ones. Hmm. It's like we've run out of gas. Yeah, we've run out of gas, so they're sort of flopping out the gun instead of firing out. Need to uh, need more beans. In our need gun. more beans. How do you remove it without it spraying everywhere? I don't know if they, you can. Sweaty hands here. Maybe it hasn't run out of gas. <laughs> Jeez.
Jesus. Yep. Whoa. Flipping it. <laughs> that soaked me. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell when it actually happens. Yeah. Makes you wonder how many we've missed. Yeah. Hmm. Where's the other one? Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> That's so satisfying. It's cool, isn't it? It's amazing that even though one comes out way before the other, they still meet perfectly in focus. That's so weird. Is it just that I'm always pulling one slightly late? I think so. I think it's just there's a slight delay. So I'm well, not. Well, I mean, even it. if you do that in slow mo, there's always going to be one that goes before the other. What an operation this is. I know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Excellent shooting. Thank you very much, sir. Excellent shooting for you, too. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's so weird because there's probably milliseconds in the difference that I'm pulling them there. But in slow-mo, it just looks like an age. Like it's halfway to the gun before the green well, Let's count. Out. So that one's at the end of the barrel. Uh, well, it's 3.52, 33 seconds, 0.104231. Okay. So what's the first number? That's a tenth of a second. What's the, the third number? Thousand. So I'm 12 thousandths of a second out. should be ashamed of yourself. Call myself a slow-mo guy. <laughs> Made a mess of the uh, the board there. Yeah. Oh, and the fence over here. The thing is, I figured that this fence was further away, so the pattern would be a bit more spread. How long do you think it would take me to paint the whole fence with a paintball gun? Oof. A week? A week? Yeah. Like solid, it's going bang, 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 bang. Wouldn't be very cost effective, considering all the paintballs and the CO2 you'd need. It'd be a lot. Be, I wonder how much that would cost. It's not very drippy, is it? And look, it's very powdery. Look, it's so weird. Oh! Every time. <laughs> we cannot do a paintball video without you doing that. Didn't get me though, really. No. Just me. That's yeah. unfortunate. I'm gonna have the clean lab coat. Sorry, it does come off quite easily. Does it? Yeah. Tell you what, the blue man hair didn't come off. That didn't, did it? <laughs> it didn't dry either. I think you need a new lab coat. About a month later. I should get a new lab coat. Yeah, you should. Hmm. I mean, I need one, but I don't know. It's just not in the budget. <laughs> Quite like those shots. Very satisfying to watch. Just the way the paint spreads in sort of random patterns. Different every time. I could just watch them collide all day. Well, sometimes I couldn't actually tell if they'd hit unless it was... The only way I could tell was if there was no noise on the fence either side. Yeah. Because there would be nothing left of it. <laughs> It'd be evisceration. Well, sometimes they would hit, but depending on the timing, they'd hit sort of over here and clip or over here. But they would nail each other here. Yeah. But it was interesting because the wood is all jostly and the, the pressure from pulling the triggers, the barrels, as you were pulling them, were doing that. So I'm amazed that they ever hit each other. Because they were like, boom. I think they just come out so fast that by the time the barrels react and move around, the paintball's already come out. Like when you saw with the, the close-up shot of the paintball gun, yeah. it came out and then it went like, whoa. Yeah. This time, we didn't shoot each other, but we still made a video with, with paintball guns. Yeah. That's good going. We're evolving. We don't yeah. always have to hurt each other. No. No. Although you did say, can I shoot you in the face with it? And I said no. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> that wasn't really a serious suggestion. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. Oh, I got myself a backfire. It. Feel free to subscribe to the Slow Mo guys. We do Slow Mo all the time. And also we have a second channel full of behind the scenes and extra guff. I oh. think that oh. went in my eye. That was good. <laughs> That went, fl you didn't get the most of it there. Most of it went flying. Yeah. I'm getting good at this now. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh. I've got to wipe down all the equipment. Oh, it went on the laptop. <sighs> Sorry. Let's go wash off. Did that go on my face?